What's up guys, welcome to the codecom.org. In this brand new video, I'm going to show you how to solve loud fan and overheating problem on Dell XPS 9510. The process will be same for 9500 and 9520. So this uh, usually happen when uh, the thermal paste is too dry and the fan is not working. So we will find out what's the problem with this. I have already run the diagnostics. It doesn't say the fan is bad. So if you don't know how to run diagnostics on Dell, XP, on Dell laptops, you can watch my another video. I will put the link in the description uh, section for the video. So I already found out maybe this is the problem with the thermal paste. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to reapply the thermal paste on this exact model, Dell 9510. And this is a brand new laptop. This is my personal laptop. I had this issue for last uh, one week and uh, now it's time to fix it uh, first thing first make sure your laptop is unplugged from the power source or AC adapter and make sure it's turned off before you start repair always use the easy strap or if you don't have any easy strap always touch a metal object and uh, that way you can uh, discharge yourself if you not uh, if if you do not discharge yourself, you're gonna damage the board. It's most uh, mostly possible. Sometimes it's not happening. Sometimes it's happening. And motherboards on these models are really expensive. And now we need to make sure uh, the laptop is turned on. And the next step is uh, removing the bottom case. So these are auto turning on when you open the lid. So I'm pressing the power button. I turn off the laptop and this is the Dell XPS bottom case uh, I prefer I prefer uh, to open the bottom case uh, with the open lid so in order to remove the screws I need to close the laptop and the, uh, we need two screw bits I'm using my precision screwdriver you can get it from Amazon or similar websites for almost $30 and I never need anything else for laptop and gaming PC repairs so even I use this toolkit for MacBook Pros and I never had any issues uh, with uh, repairing MacBook Pros. So for this uh, specific repair, you only need two bits. One is T5 and one is Philip. So we use T5 for removing this bottom case, eight screws. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Always be gentle with these screws because these are not uh, common screws. If you if you miss one or if you strip one, uh, you need to order the whole set. It probably cost you like uh, ten dollars, something like that. But you have to wait for a week to receive it. So as other uh, models, uh, these bottom kiss screws are coming off. So most of the Dell models, the bottom kiss screws are not coming off especially the precision ones or latitude ones so this is a premium laptop and this has premium quality and I really love this laptop because I have used 90% uh, 90% of laptops available in the market and I tested out this is the one I like the most so far for uh, content creation and coding and IT lab virtualizations So removing this bottom case does require little strength because this is pure metal and you need to be really gentle with it. Always be careful with this because this is too sharp on the edges and be careful with your fingers. So as I told you this is all to uh, turning on when you open the lid. I'm turning off the laptop again and try to start from the edges. Always use plastic objects like something like this to remove the bottom case. Start, start from the edges. As I told you, it requires little strength. It's not easy to remove this. And always be careful with the, uh, your fingers because this uh, bottom case edges really sharp and may cut your finger. It happened to me so many times on the side fixing clients laptops. I used to work for Dell as a field service technician. That's how I got all this knowledge. 
and experience. And always be careful, do not go too deep because there's a lot of wires on the edges for Wi-Fi and other cellular modules on the board. And try to remove it really gentle, do not put force. Nice and easy like this. So first thing after removing the bottom case, you need to unplug the battery. The battery connector is right here. You just need to go from the edges and do not put too much pressure, just be gentle. As you can see, I have successfully removed the a battery connector. Now it's time to remove the heat sink. So this thing here, it's called heat sink. And this is responsible for keeping the GPU and CPU cool. And these are the fans. Whenever you wanna uh, reapply the heat, uh, the thermal paste on the under the heat sink, always make sure your fans are nice and clean. So I will be using the this thermal paste, and this already came with this alcohol wipe. Uh, so most of the time I do use the alcohol wipe. I just use the paper towel and now it's time to remove the heat sink. So the heat sink comes with the five screws, one, two, three, four and five. One is right here beside the fan. So the screws has its own number beside them so you need to follow the exact pattern so this one says number three this is number one sorry this is number three this is number two and this is number four that's how you follow this pattern so now I, uh, we don't need this Torx uh, 5 or T5 we need to use the Philip to remove the heat sink screws so we go from number one and this stress here is not coming up. Then number two, number three, and number five. Sorry, number four, and this is number five. This one, uh, I do need a tiny uh, Phillips screwdriver bit. I use, I'm using a tiny one because the screw is a little small. If any screws or any part is resisting, just, just don't use the, the force. You must strip the screw and it will be almost impossible to remove it. As this one is resisting this is a little straight uh, I'm trying to use not use the force and try to remove it yeah so as you can see I have successfully removed the fifth one and that that is coming out now you need to gently remove the lift the heat sink remember do not use force if something resisting always make sure you inspect the site if something is holding it or any object is holding it remove the object and remove the heat sink and as you can see there's a little dirt i'm cleaning it off and now it's time to use my paper towel to remove the old thermal paste remove the thermal paste from the cpu in the GPU so this one right here this is the CPU as you can see it's coming off nice and easy so this is not too old laptop the heat sink still look a uh, little wet but for some what reason it's causing the overheating and loud fan so after reapplying the thermal paste everything should work normal And now it's time to clean the heat sink. Just wipe it down and it's nice and clean. Now we need to reapply the 
thermal paste just go a pinch little and you don't have to apply the whole the whole tube you just go one dot here and this is perfect put back the heat sink same thing nice and easy do not use any force remember uh, to use the pattern on the heat sink for the screws whatever says one we need to screw it back in number one as you can see this one says two I need to screw this in number two as you can see this is three now I'm using number three and this says number four so this is four and don't forget about the fifth one and now it's time to reconnect the battery inspect everything is perfect and fine not any unplugged uh, connector on the board and uh, you should avoid touching the board as as much as possible and reconnect the battery now it's time to put back the bottom case nice and easy as long as you hear the clay it means it's in place as you can see it's perfect it's in place i'm not gonna put back the bottom case screws because i want to make sure if the laptop is still, still turning on or no voila as you can see uh, another successful repair i hope this video helps you guys and thanks for watching in arab to support my my work please subscribe to my channel and like and share if you need a repair on any other specific model please leave a comment i will be doing another video on that model you need thanks for watching and i see you in the next video